For this special feature, it's all about Speedlab, a one-stop service shop that caters to every car enthusiast's needs. From engine tuning, suspension modification, general maintenance, and other services, Speedlab got you covered. Learn more about it here on Special Feature. visited Speed Lab located in Quezon City to see firsthand how the service shop does reflashing cars. Reflashing is a technique that puts additional horsepower to the existing program of the car. Once there is more power and torque, Speed Lab noted that there will be 8% to 12% better mileage. We have Mr. Sidney Ang, owner of Speed Lab, to further take us to the process. When you hear the term ECU reflash, it basically means that you are getting the data from the stock computer box, it's a file, usually around 1 MB or 2 MB, then changing the values inside, then reflashing it back inside, just like a USB flash drive, the little stick that you have that you can buy anywhere. That's where the term reflash comes from. The other term is actually remapping. Why? Because when you open up that 1 or 2 MB file, it looks like a big Excel sheet. There are a lot of these Excel sheets and they are called maps. Some maps control the fuel, some maps control the ignition timing, some maps control the boost, and on this Montero, we're actually calibrating the map that controls fuel rail pressure, uh, mass airflow sensor, and then throttle accelerator. The first step when reflashing a car is to connect a laptop to the car through the OBD2 port using a flash drive. It will then start reading data from the ECU using specific software. Once finished reading the data, the computer will show all the maps pertaining to how the current engine of the car is performing. This thing is called a map. This, has, this map is, relates to how much rail pressure do we want. This other map is what's the maximum limit that we want the fuel rail pressure to be. And so by adjusting these numbers, making it higher, we actually get more power out of it. Then this is uh, called a torque request map. So for every RPM there, and for every fuel delivery, there is a certain value that's arbitrary called torque. This is the maximum torque that the engine will give. So if you want more, you just simply again, increase the number. Then the engine will respond by saying that, hey, I, you want more torque now? We'll give you more torque equal to this value. After setting the power and torque to the desired value, Speedlab proceeds to transfer the altered data back to the ECU of the car. However, Mr. Ang noted that before a car could be reflashed, it needs to undergo a baseline dynamometer first which determines the stock numbers of the car. This step is vital as it tells you whether you're putting in the right numbers or not. It's very important that you have a baseline dyno so you have numbers to work with because we can just plug in a bunch of numbers here and yes, it will be more powerful, but how much power, you don't really know. So we will know what your stock numbers are and more importantly, if you're making the correct numbers, particularly horsepower, torque, and then for diesel cars, boost. If any of these things are off, we will know and you have to fix it first before you do the reflash. Here's a demo straight from Speedlab. Here we are putting the car on a dynamometer or dyno for short, which is basically this thing. This will attach to the rear wheel to measure the actual horsepower that gets to the wheel. That's why you will also see things like WHP, which means wheel horsepower. And this is it. Mr. Ang also clarifies the difference between tune-up and tuning. All current cars with ECUs basically self-tune themselves, meaning that inside the ECU there is a set target for what the air-fuel ratio is, and then the ECU will try to do everything to hit that target. So the old days of fiddling with the carburetor and the distributor for the timing, that's all gone. It's all done by the computer now. 
After the data transfer, the car will be checked through the dyno machine once again to check how much power the car has actually gained from the reflashing and to see if it was able to reach the desired value. The numbers could be adjusted until the desired value has been reached. Basically, that's the whole reflash process. Take the file, change the contents, re-upload the file, and as you can see, almost 40 horses more. And the big thing is 90 foot-pounds of torque. According to Speed Lab, reflashing doesn't do damage to the car. Plus, it has its own benefits. Reflash is one of those things that does not void warranty. And this might be a stingy topic, but here's the thing. In reflashing, you are not changing anything. You are not adding anything. There's no additional hardware. There's not even additional software. The operating system inside that physical chip of your ECU stays the same. The file name stays the same. What we're only doing is changing the contents of the file inside. We're changing from a number 5 to a number 7. So, reflash theoretically does not void a warranty of any kind. However, not all cars can be reflashed. For certain car models that cannot be reflashed, Speed Lab uses the unit chip, a universal module that works on any car, any brand, gas or diesel. For that, we have unit chip. The, um, the main difference is with unit chip, you're buying hardware to be able to talk to the ECU instead of just sticking this directly to the car. You have to have a something to intercede between you and the stock computer. So that's what the Unichip does. And that allows us also to do the same process, the same tuning that can be done. So it's still basically manipulation of numbers. But only Unichip is doing the manipulation of numbers to the ECU. We're talking to the Unichip, then the Unichip talks to the ECU to make the changes. So for that, between reflashing and Unichip, we got pretty much every car covered. With the reflash process and the Unichip, Speedlad can tune any car. Check them out on Facebook or visit their shop in Quezon City. Between Reflash and Unichip, we can tune pretty much any car. Whether you have Chinese, American, Japanese, European, Korean, we can do it. So check us out at Speed Lab. You can find us on Facebook. Address is there. We're here in Banawe, Quezon City. So if you want more power, you know who to call. That's all about Speed Lab, a one-stop service shop that has everything you need when it comes to taking care of your car. Located in Quezon City, our special feature this week.